Give me a head with hair, long, beautiful hair, shining, gleaming, steaming, flax and waxen. Give me it down to there, hair, shoulder length or longer. Here, baby, there, mama, everywhere. I'm here with Carter Eastler playing Claude from Hair. So, uh, Carter, tell us about your character, Claude. Uh, well, Claude Hooper Bukowski, he is. Uh, He's uh, sort of new to the tribe. There's this group of hippies who are living in Central Park in New York City. And uh, I, I mean, I've sort of created this guy for myself who he's, he's very idealistic. He's moved away from his family home and has come and joined this kind of tribunal of young people who, who are trying to change the world in a peaceful way. And, but he hasn't completely bought into the lifestyle yet. He's still, he's still a little bit conservative. He's still holding on to a bit of uh, the ideals of his parents of, of trying to get a job and, and, and settling down with somebody. He's not, he's not the full-blown, you know, tits to the wind hippie <laughs> that the rest of them are. Um, but, and so the story of Hare is his search for identity mm -hmm. and, um, and how he fits into the group. Hare is a rebellious musical. It took many risks at the original premiere and it will continue to take many risks. So Carter, would you mind describing and discussing the importance of the themes of gender, race, drugs, and especially sexuality um, on the musical? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's, these themes are all sort of ingrained in the culture of the time. It, you know, it, uh, it's a period piece. It, 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 the, era, the era is 1968 at a time where civil rights, women's rights, black rights, gay rights, these things were new ideas and they were being pushed very strongly by the young people and solely by the young people. Anti-war sentiments were, were coming about because of the war in Vietnam. And so, it, the, you know, hair happens right before the iconic Summer of Love, um, I, which I believe is the end of 1968. And, and so, it's, uh, the themes of this, this musical are all about these different, these different groups and, and fighting for individual rights for each group, but it's more, it's more concretely just about unity and loving everyone for who they are. All right, and for you personally, how do these themes sit with you as an actor? As an actor? Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy to play because I'm, I'm not, honestly, I'm not really acting. I'm like, I'm like I believe in everything that this says. Perfect, and as you should. Yeah. So clearly he got in his role. Uh, why produce this musical today? What impact will it leave audiences with? Because it is obviously a different time and generation. Hmm. How do you think audiences will leave based on what they have seen? Well, um, first of all, I think that anybody can enjoy the show because it's, it's a concert of great music. You know, that's, that's what drew me in first, mm -hmm. is that uh, you can't beat it. It's, you know, songs like Aquarius. It's, it's about not accepting ideas that have just been told to you and, and exploring for yourself what, what is meaningful and, and, um, and fighting against the establishment and the man who is, who is not serving the interests of the people, it is serving itself. And I think that that is really important right now because we're at a time where uh, there's, there's so much corporate control in the world and, and, and governments are powerless because all, all, all of their, their money comes from these corporations. There's, there's so much, there, there's a chokehold on, on it. And so things like our environment are suffering and, and we live in a really fantastic country, but there are a lot of places in the world who don't even have half of what we have. And so it's still important to know that those things are worth fighting for. And this musical pushes that. The Theatre Reader is currently holding a contest for two free tickets to the musical Hair, presented by the Lower Ossington Theatre. For your chance to win these two tickets, please submit a flashback photo or create your own special 1960s moment. You can submit the photo through any of our social media outlets, be it Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Foursquare, or Instagram. Be sure to tag us at Theatre Reader, hashtag TTR Contest, and hashtag Theatone. When the moon